Wagwan people, we are back. Ripon City, episode 40, brothers. And we've got some FA Cup action. And we've also got Manchester City in the Premier League alongside three other games. So before we get into those, we did play Watford in the Premier League. We got a penalty early on. Danny Rose with the booking. That's right, get your booty booked. And so far, so good this season. We've pretty much avoided relegation. We've pretty much nearly cemented a top 10 finish. Can we push on for Europe? We've got a January transfer window coming up as well in the next episode. So you never know if we can add some reinforcements. We don't have any money, but I can also sell some brothers to be fair. So Palulu put us 1-0 up against Watford. And that's all she wrote, brothers. That's all we needed. That's all we ever need. Second half, Watford did come back into it though. Absolute liberties. Near post, Riley Short beaten at his near post. This is before half time actually. So we scored, they equalised pretty much straight away. This guy ran to Ranieri like he adopted him or something. I mean, come on bro. Celebration, I mean you can tell Watford are struggling. They're celebrating a goal like that. But we ain't going to be defeated like that. 78th minute, we managed to find that winner. And it was just us hunts that did it. <laughs> I still can't say that damn word on YouTube. YouTube will kill me. But the German, the moustache maestro, the Houdini, the broke magician... Made it 2-1. We then played Everton, who are currently in second position. Them, Liverpool, Man City keep swapping over. We're languishing about fifth and sixth. Uh, and they beat us by a single goal in there. A rebound off the bar. Hit in. Couldn't see a damn thing in the snow. Everyone slipped around everywhere. And we lost 1-0 at Goodison. But again, it's to be done. I mean, Sigurdsson shouldn't even be bloody playing. He should be in prison, to be fair. But <laughs> that's another subject. So a win and a defeat, again, we're not getting that consistency, maybe push for a Champions League place, but you never know, we'll, we'll keep on plugging on. So the main games today, FA Cup starts today, we've got to get to the least the round of 16s, so this is round 3, we've got to get to at least round 5 for the board to be happy. We've got Coventry City in nice draw, so I thought, you know what, I'll give you some FA Cup action and I'll play Man City afterwards. This is our main game, so Jimenez is in there as well, Demir comes in, Vagaman's at right back. Changed a couple of players around thinking, well, it's Coventry. I can play a couple of the uh, second stringers, should we say. This is your Coventry lineup. Darbo's in there for them. Uh, no bleak players leaving the Premier League yet to drop down to his league. But uh, Hammers is a good player in there. Tavares we've got to watch out for. And like I say, FA Cup, anything can happen. Let's get into this. Here's Vagoman. A little ball inside. Busio. Nicely done to Dobson. He makes a start today. And Dobson, again, he looks the business, but... Seems to get shoved off the ball pretty easily at the moment. So I'm going to have to review that at the end of the season. You never know if a bid comes in for him and may be tempted. But he's only 18, 78 rated, so he's got loads of time to grow. Lees is the main man, so as long as he's happy being second fiddle, I don't mind. We've got Jamilio as well. All right, here's Demir. Back to Dobson. Nice little switch outside to Eze. Making a start in the FA Cup. Ball played round. There's Demir. He's in the inside. Rebound. Alexander. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> One of our old Youth Academy players, Alexander, looking like a poor man's David Beckham. Puts us 1-0 up. He's one of our own. Alexander, he's one of our own. Ball played outside and the youngster pops it in. Beautiful. It's always nice when one of the youngsters scored. He's only 63 rated but looks good. His potential. Young man. Uh, here's Matson. I say this game's no longer won. Nice little ball inside. Coventry trying to put some pressure on us. They've got nothing to lose today so they can play with freedom. There's a shot. Ooh, and Larry Banks in goal. <laughs> Larry Banks, that's the most Canadian I've ever heard. That's a nice ball around the back, though. Alexander's in again, the youngster. Alexander, hoo -hoo. Like I said, the youngster's doing well on that right wing. Here he is again, Alexander, one of our own. Ball played inside to Dobson, to Demir. The Turkish maestro again, just pulling the strings in midfield. Here's Jimenez, back across. Eze, it's two. Let's go. Come on, 26 minutes played. Take it easy. Scores the second goal. That's what we need in the FA Cup. A couple of goal. Nice little comfort zone just in case they decide to come back at us, Coventry. 2 0 up at home. I'm hoping for a good FA Cup run. We got to the Carabao Cup final in the first season in League Two somehow and got beat by Man City. Since then, we've been getting knocked out in the third round of both cups. We're out of the Carabao Cup already. Uh, we lost in the Papa Don't Preach Cup when we were in League One and League Two plenty of times. So I want a nice FA Cup run if we can. Here's Tavares now. Coventry making some moves. That's a nice ball inside. Oh, Larry Banks with the save. Oh, my goodness, Larry. Doesn't play that often, but what a save by the Canadian goalkeeper. Still 2 0 here. 10 minutes to go till half time. Coventry, no pushovers at the moment. Here's Matson. Cuts back inside again. And my, my defence just stood there watching. Little move inside. <laughs> Luckily for us, Coventry didn't get a touch, but they're back in again now. Little turn back. O'Hare! Straight down the gullet of Larry Banks. 
We've got to watch that. We're conceding far too many shots here against Coventry. Here's Eze. Ball inside to the Brazilian Cabral. Back out to Busio. To Dobson. This is nice. Dobson plays the ball around. There's Demir. And Demir's in. He's on his weaker foot though. But Demir makes it 3-0. And just like that, Coventry looked like they were going to score. And Demir has put the victory beyond doubt. Surely that's us into the fourth round of the FA Cup. Still on the first half. But 3-0 up. We look deadly going forward. Coventry, unfortunately, don't have that firepower we do. Dobson lays the ball in. Nice assist from him. And Demir slots it in the corner. Calm as you like. All right, in interview time now. And Eze is breaking forward again. Coventry at <laughs> sixes and sevens. Will Ripper make it four before the half? Ball's chipped across. It will fall for Alexander. It's four. <laughs> the homegrown talent gets his second goal. He's one of our own. Alexander, he's one of our own. Like I say, it may look like a, a cheap ASOS model, but this brother can ball. My goodness. Chin strap beard as well, like he's in E17 back in the 90s. But the ball cropped over. And Alexander, what a finish. 4 0 ripping into the second half we go. All right. Dabo making a run down that wing. Not messing about this Dabo. Got some pace about him. Cuts inside. Nicely done to O'Hare. She's out. Tavares. Oh, he's beating Larry Banks off the bar. The comeback might be on. Second half firing. Tavares makes it 4-1 Ripon. Coventry have something to celebrate. But surely we've got four goals. Surely that's more than enough that we need to get through. The travelling Coventry faithful celebrating that goal. All right, here come Coventry again. Tavares. We're taking the foot off the gas a little bit. That's a ball inside. Where the rats? Is Jimenez going? Come on, man. Looking like a Spanish Tom Jones. Get your booty back. Dabo spun mood him again. Tavares is in the box. Lays it across. Back to Tavares again. Surely he's offside. There's the volley. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Off the bar in the end. <laughs> What's going on with Coventry, man? All of a sudden, they've got a rocket up their backsides. Here's Matson again. We're not careful. We'll let these guys back into this game. Turn back inside. Come on, Dobson. Get there nicely. Done by Dobson to Guerrero now. He's on for Demir, the youngster. Here's De Jong, another youngster from we got from Ajax. That's a nice ball around. And Alexander's in again, the youngster. Alexander is on a hat trick, remember. Cuts inside. Left Pegasus. Oh, good save by the goalkeeper. What a debut that would have been for Alexander. A hat trick on his debut in the FA Cup. Here's a move. Nice little ball in. Oh, nicely read though by Dennis. Ooh, reads the danger. Well, Larry Banks is giving the ball away. Larry, what are you doing? Oh my God, Larry. Ha, I am not happy as Larry. What the rass are you doing, man? Cardoso again messing about at the back. Come on, boys. What the hell's going on back here? In injury time, no. I mean, the victory's secure, but come on, man. This is lazy. Nice little ball inside Busio now. And that's the final whistle. We come away with a 4-1 win. Made it hard for ourselves in the second half. Coventry did better than us in the second half, but ripping it through to the fourth round. This guy, what the hell? You Check your blood pressure, bro. <laughs> like a swollen Ronald Koeman. <laughs> like stung by bees or some crap. Oh my lordy, what was going on? All right, sensational victory. I'm sure you were confident, but did your team's control... Yeah, well, did, did it surprise me? No, no, it didn't surprise me. We're a Premier League team now, man. Don't, don't disrespect me. Coventry, yes, they're a championship side. They're a good side. But we're Premier League now. Uh, there was a lot of positives to take out today's game. People are wondering, though, why you decided to leave Leeds out of the lineup? Is there a problem? Hell no. Nah. No problem at all, but this brother had an under-19s disco to go to. So I said, you know what? Cool, man. Go. Take your girl to Flamingo and have a good day out, man. We'll cover this. A slow start, but you ended up with a pretty easily three win by three goals. Uh, were you getting nervous in the first half? What? what? I mean, does this guy literally watch the game? I mean, come on, bro. We're falling up at half-time, bro. I mean, no. What nervous at all. Confident in the boys. Confident in the ones that stepped in. Really proud of Alexander. Great debut. No further questions. Thanks. All right, man. I swear down, bro. <laughs> Alright, so we move on from there. We've played Man City next. We have currently got the best home record in the Premier League. That's right, the best home record, but Man City have the best away record. And that boy's turned up looking like bloody Hitman. What's going on now? What's in the brown bag? A bowling ball? What the hell? This ain't bowling, bro. This is football. Alright, so Man City visit Mallory Park. Man City currently, like I say, joint top with Liverpool battling up there. Any kind of victory here. We did beat Liverpool, though, as you know. Um, but any kind of result here is a good result. Like I said, we win one, we lose one, we draw one. We're kind of inconsistent, really. We are pushing, like I said, for Europe. If we get Europe in the first season of Premier League, I am that is above expectation. The board wanted us to avoid relegation. We've done that. Uh, we've got to get through to one more round of the FA Cup. And then we've expected that as well. So we're doing well for the board. But again, if we can sneak fourth place, that's the dream. That is the dream. I'll happily take fifth, sixth, seventh if it gets into Europa League. It doesn't really tell you on this one. 
Uh, it just says fifth is a guaranteed spot. I don't know if the Cups take the other two, but there is a Conference League as well. Any kind of Europe would be good next season. This is uh, Man City's lineup, though. Howard Bells is in there. Cabore is in there. A little bit different from Guardiola. There is Cabore now. There must be a regen for them. So we've won five, drawn two, and lost three at home at the moment. The Rippers is not too bad. Man City have won eight away from home, so something's got to give today. Here's Lees now. Back in the lineup today. Oh, referee! Come on, man. Lees' damn ankles. Come on, Berbatov. What the hell? Should be a straight. That should be a double red. You know, it's actually deep purple or something. That was terrible, man. All right. Lees back to Dennis, though. Straight from the free kick. Dennis! Oh, my goodness. Short from distance on the center back. Lees the rebound. It's gone wide. Dennis doing that company ting from distance, man. My lordy. Hasn't scored since that Sheffield Wednesday game back last season, but my lord, he was close there. Here's Eze now, 20 minutes in. Ripon taking it to Man City. Not afraid of this team. We lost 1-0 at the Emirates, remember? Oh my goodness, Eze curled one in nearly then. Uh, and it's a close game at the Emirates, to be fair. I think it was our second game of the season. Here's Lees now. Nice little ball inside again. And Cabore slipped. And Eze's in. Surely Ripon took the lead. Eze's a shot. Blocked for Lees. He's there. 1-0 Ripon. Tekabu, son. Tekabu. Finally broke through Man City's resolve. Oh my goodness. The tick attacker has no, no, no chance against Rippon's absolute roadrunners at the top. The counter-attacking Supremos. Shot from Lees. It's blocked across by Edison. Shot from Eze. Apologies. Blocked from Edison. Lees with the tap in. All right, Man City back up the other end now. Ten minutes to go till half time. A little fuck on outside side. Harold Bells. Nice little ball inside to Diaz. Nice little move in there. Played across. There's Jesus. Lays it back across again. Deflected and just trickles wide from Sterling. Ripon got away with one there. Another corner ball though. Eight minutes to go till half time. Touched inside. Nicely done. Demir can break free though. Can Ripon get a second goal here? Got a two on two situation. Demir's going around the back of them. Come on, Demir. Use that damn pace, man. Kabore trying to keep up with him. Demir cuts back inside. This is nice to Eze who lays it across. Stajinski. Great save from Edison. The Polish wonder kid nearly getting that goal. Two minutes to go till half time. Ball given away by Eze though. Here's Sterling. Back to Jesus. Ball inside to Rodri. Back across to Howard Bells. Man City again just passing it around like that. They just pass, pass, passes. It drives you mad when you're out of possession. They can be deadly, Man City. Here's Sterling again. Ball into Jesus to Kevin De Bruyne. Nice little ball out wide to Torres. It's a nice movement again. Kevin De Bruyne lays it back inside to Torres in the ring. And a great save from Riley Short. And Ripon just clear their lines. There's the halftime whistle. Oh my goodness. Second half underway now. Four minutes into the second half. It's flipped onto the outside. It's Howard Bells. Plays it inside to Torres. Torres can spin move. Jesus back to Torres. And finally, all that tick attacker crap gets through the defence. And Torres equalises. This gear should be in Barcelona anyway, man. Come on, FIFA, man. Ah, oh, Lord of Jesus. Like I say, when Man City getting that mood to pass around, you can't do anything about it. 1-1 one, one here. I'll still take a 1-1 one, one, to be fair. Vagaman trying to battle through though with Grealish. Grealish gets the better of it. Lays it across. Tries to find Sterling. Sterling's in again. But couldn't get his shot from under his feet. Riley Shield defends it well. Lima out wide to Eze. Back inside to Cabral. Man City back in numbers now. But he broke the lines. That's nicely done. Lees across Busio. Steinski. He's got the run on the right hand side. Busio again. Back out wide to Vagaman the German. Vagaman lays it across. And Lees gets there. And it's in. <laughs> What the Ross Clark happened there? <laughs> Lees did some kind of breakdancing spin move and somehow gets to the ball before Edison and Ripon have the lead again. We need a replay of this one. What kind of breakdancing DMX run DMC crap did he do then? Oh my lordy. What the? Let me see this. Ball played out wide. Cross comes in from Vagaman. And Lees just slides in before Edison can get there and somehow gets a toe curl. We'll see better from this angle. What kind of dookie is this off his shin? We'll take it though. I'll take it happily. 2 1 Ripon. 15 minutes to go. There's a header down. And Riley Short. Come on, as well. Smeet controls it beautifully. All right, here's Torres now. Back into Jesus. Jesus finding a bit of pocket space back here. Torres, nice little flick around. Man City again trying that little fast passing, but we're on to it at the moment. Here's Jesus from distance and Riley Short again. What a season this guy's having. One of our own as well. Youth Academy player. Looked a bit dodgy in the championship, but getting better with age. Headed clear now, nicely done. Ripping, I've got to put the pressure on. There's literally last few seconds. This is Man City's only chance now to get this equaliser at least. Here's Torres, back outside. Kevin De Bruyne, they need a ball in the box. They get one there. There's Jesus, tries it over a kick. And in the end, Riley Short picks up the rebound. And Ripping pick up a massive, famous win at Mallory Park. The home record is intact. Man City's away record is doomed. Two on Ripping. Get in there, brothers.
Ask me one question now then, bro, huh? Headlines today about the Leeds stunning performance and his two goals to the victory. What are your thoughts about your star man? Every time. I mean, this guy is unbelievable. I'm going to adopt this kid. He's unbelievable. What a player he is. Uh, he's staying with the club for as long as we can keep him, but he's, he's destined for the top. Just one goal between the teams. You come away with the win. Thanks for second half strike. Did you feel comfortable or did you get nervous towards the end? Um, no, bro. Like I say, Man City are a great team. They're bound to get chances. So you just got to hang in there, defend well, and do your thing as a unit, bro. So you managed to get uh, <laughs> going over Man City and you got the win today. You must be pleased. Do you think? Uh, what do you think made the difference? Um... I'm going to give all credit to the crowd, you know what I'm saying? Some guy was barbecuing in the fifth row, but I mean, that smelled good. But yeah, big shout out to the crowd. They helped the team push along today. Thank you for your time. All right, cool, man. So a massive win against Man City, brothers. We also played a couple more extra games. We've got West Ham on one extra game. We played West Ham at Mallory Park. Again, another doozy, this one. West Ham, a good side in there. David Moyes, the prune man, uh, got them organised quick. Cardozo gave a penalty away. Stupid <coughs> tackle. I don't know what the hell he was thinking. Ten minutes into the second half, the young Brazilian just dived in when he didn't need to. Um, I mean, it almost injured him damn self, to be fair. So West Ham had the opportunity to go 1-0 up at Mallory Park. Uh, Morcillo with the pen. Riley Short just looked at it like Bill Cosby does. <laughs> what the hell was that, bro? 1-0 man, uh, West Ham. And I was thinking, damn, I've hardly broken down as it is. It's going to be a tough game this to get back into it. But I've got to keep faith. Got to keep faith. I've got to keep pushing for that European dream. And the equaliser did come about 10 minutes later. Eze out wide. Again, using that skills. We're going to actually be, play him alongside Demir in Cam, but he's been so good on the left wing, we've kept him out there. Out wide to Riviero. In for Vagaman today. Laid it back across again. And Busio with the equaliser. Left Pegasus from the American. Back in the goals. One of our summer signings. What a signing he's been. 1-1 one, one ripping. 20 minutes left to play. And I feel the fear now. I can smell David Moyes' panty liner. <laughs> This guy's got secrets on all day long. I know we're full well we could beat this team. Here's Demir. Back inside to Kufientes. Nicely done to Alexander. One of our own played again. Nice little ball across. Passed inside and Demir made it 2-1 with seven minutes to go. And I'm thinking, yes, and there are three points in the bag. This wonderful season continues to blossom. And Demir put us 2-1 up. And I do believe that was all she wrote, brothers. So, from there, we are in third <laughs> God knows how. We are six points behind City. I, we're not in the title race. I don't even want to say we're in the title race. We've got 15 games to go. We're not in the title race. If we finish top four, I'm happy. I mean, we're only four points ahead of, like, for example, 10th place. So we could drop down massively. But at the moment, we are currently in the mix. I'm going to say. So the next episode, we'll have Stoke in the FA Cup. We've got Brighton, Wolves, uh, Norwich as well in this piece. So I'll probably give you the FA Cup game as well. As one of the main ones. Um, and then I'll possibly see from there. We've also got Leicester in there as well. So I'll pick two main games. Three of the rest of the highlights. Team's looking good so far. Riley Short, 76 raid at only 20 years old. Seuss is in there. Vieira's looking good too. Larry Banks is the backup. We did need two North American players. Wilson looks a good little player. But Jimenez and Lima are our main two. James Brown's out on loan. Cordoso, Colwell. Collins again. It hasn't been developing much. We've had a few bids leading up to the transfer window. So if we get one that's acceptable, I may do. Especially if I can find a replacement that's cheaper. Uh, De Jong's developing beautifully. Nash is on loan now. Busio, just as Hunts, is doing a brilliant job. Christian's another one. Cuffy enters at the end of the season. I may sell those two for bigger, better fish. Guerrero looks good. Uh, Alexander's one of our own, as you know. We've got some more young academies they players in there. So, so far, so good. Like I said, we've got the transfer window coming up in the next one. Who knows what might happen, but stick around for that. Uh, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Really help the channel out. We're up to 3,350 now. So, big up. Peace and love, brothers and sisters. And I'll see you on the flip side. Peace.